My BFI player choice this week is a quietly intense tale of wealth and poverty, religion and politics, husbands and wives, from Turkish auteur Nuri Bilge Ceylan. A sprawlingly wordy and cumulatively powerful meditation upon Dostoevsky and guilt that credits Chekhov, quotes Shakespeare, acknowledges Sartre and nods stylistically towards Bergman. The Cannes Palme d'Or winner, Winter Sleep. Elias, Elias, oğlum babandan gizli gidelim ve Aydın abinin elini öpelim demedik mi yavrum? Niye mahcup ediyorsun beni insan içinde oğlum? <gülüyor> haydi, haydi oğlum, haydi. Haydi öpüver Aydın ya, abinin elini, hadi baş. Yok abi, tamam, hadi, hadi madem. <gülüyor> İlyas. <gülüyor> İlyas bak ayıp ama Aydın abim bekliyor oğlum hadi be. İlyas. Halluk Bilginer is monumental as Aydin, a former actor who now claims to be working on a history of Turkish theatre. Much of his time is taken up writing pompous newspaper columns in which he pontificates about matters of art, morality and religion. In his mind, he is an artist and benefactor. In reality, he's a landlord, delegating duties to faceless debt collectors who aren't afraid to get tough with the tenants. And when the son of one such harassed family throws a stone at Aiden's car, it's more than a window that's broken. Over the ensuing hours, we watch Aiden's private life quietly shattering as the facade of his benevolence fractures, falters, and falls away. Chelin describes Aiden as a very typical modern Turkish intellectual, and Winter Sleep deftly etches the strange slights of a life that have turned him into someone who hates practically everybody. Ever eager to recall a fleeting encounter with Omar Sharif to his gradually departing guests, Aiden is left in the disconsolate company of his close family. Divorced sister Nekla, whose discussions of not resisting evil fail a tragic desire to return to the husband who wronged her, and trapped wife Nihal, seeking solace and self-justification in charitable work that is met with fiery disdain. Collaborating on the screenplay, as they have done since 2006's Climates, husband and wife team Nuri Bilger and Ebru Ceylan get under the skin of their male and female characters with equal dexterity. It's by arguing about a scene that we make it deeper, the director said in an interview. We're able to see it from both the man and the woman's point of view. Don't judge people, Aidan is warned. Accept things as they are. Or perhaps it's that absence of judgment that lends Winter Sleep its even-handed strength. We're left not with a sense of tragedy, but of sympathy. The possibility of redemption raised, if not fulfilled. The complexities of these intertwining life stories still falling like unsettled snow.